Hi, I'm James Landay, professor of computer science and the co-founder and co-director of the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence, also known as HAI. Every year, we release the AI Index Report, which is one of the most comprehensive data-driven views of the current state of artificial intelligence. In this video, I'll be sharing my reactions to some of the key trends we recognized in our latest report. Trend one, AI performance on demanding benchmarks continues to improve. It's amazing how far AI has come in just the last three years. In fact, AI keeps surpassing human performance on many of these benchmarks, such that the developers have to create new benchmarks to see if they can trip up the AI. And in fact, one of the most long-standing benchmarks or problems, the Turing test, was really passed without anyone even noticing. Trend two, business is all in on AI, fueling record investment and usage, especially in certain key fields like software engineering, where you can't take it out of a programmer's hands, in call centers, but it's improving performance quicker. Some fields are not seeing as big productivity yet as businesses learn how to educate and train their workers to best use AI in their work. Trend three, AI and computer science education are expanding, yet gaps in access and readiness persist. Although our most recent report shows that there's a lot more computer science education and AI education around the world, there's still gaps in access in different parts of the world and in different communities, especially related to wealth. And although the companies are doing better at trying to bring these technologies to a broader section of humanity, I think we as people need to demand it so that our kids and our workers can really do well in the future of AI. Trend four, AI models are becoming increasingly cheaper to use. This means that as this continues, these same powerful models will eventually be able to work on your phone or even on your watch without having to go off and use expensive GPUs that are in big server rooms in the cloud. Trend five, carbon emissions from AI training are steadily increasing. This is one of the concerning issues with AI. It's not just for training the models. It's also when you use a model that causes a cost that generates carbon emissions as well. Now, the good news is one, AI is helping researchers come up with even more and more efficient models, both in training and in serving your queries when you use it. And two, there is a big incentive for these companies to reduce those costs. And so there is lots of progress, and I'm hopeful that this issue will get better over time. What are your reactions to these top key trends? Don't miss out on the evolution of Gen AI and be a part of its growth and development by enrolling in Stanford Online's Generative AI program.